want a quick and easy way to do some beautiful elegant entry containers without breaking the bank using this reef i'll show you how get on up in here get on up in here because we are getting ready to give this front entryway a beautiful winter time refresh it's going to be very easy to do and inexpensive yes i said it very inexpensive for you to recreate this look at your own home if you wanted to painters that we're going to be using i have these two big large concrete pots that flank either side of my entryway here They've been here for quite some time. You guys, if you've been following me for some time, I have a massive concrete collection of containers from big, huge, very big, large containers all the way down to little, small, ornate urns of concrete containers. And I just don't stop with that. I love terracotta. I love honey, metal, iron, you name it, I'm trying to add it to my collection. But let me bring it on back in and get off of that container rent because I love containers. And if you love containers as much as I did, it will be easy for you to go on a rent. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in and we're going to give these two containers a beautiful look for the winter. Now, a lot of these items will be very easy to source. And then at the end of this video, I'll tell you guys some of my top tips and tricks on how to save money with your winter containers. So let's get started. You know what? The only thing that I'm missing out here is some soil. So let me run in and get some. So we're gonna be using this reef right here. So this reef is gonna be the base. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building this container and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I'll put everything together for us. And then we'll talk about the components that I use. And then I'll also remember to give you guys the tips and tricks that I use for this beautiful entryway container. My winter containers I go in and I spray my wilt proof now in all honesty I literally broke my own rule so what happened was a few years ago I was buying floral stems excuse me floral magnolias and when I was buying them I asked them about putting wilt stop or wilt proof on the magnolias because I know with magnolias since they are evergreen you can spray wilt proof on top of your evergreens during the winter time. It helps lock in that moisture and you basically spray on the top and on the bottom of the leaf and it'll help lock it in. So I was more concerned with conserving the brown, beautiful brown velvety texture of the magnolia. I wanted to keep that color locked in. When the magnolia leaves dry, you still get the brown and green texture variation. It's still beautiful but you don't get it as intense. I was concerned with preserving that, so we asked about it and they called Wiltproof and their distributor for Wiltproof and they said, do not apply it. So ever since then, I've made sure when I do my magnolias, I try not to get any Wiltproof on there. So what I do is I put my fresh greens in place and then I go back in and then I go ahead and get all of the evergreens a spray. Then I try to place my magnolia leaves but I'm rushing because I'm getting ready to get on the highway to go out of town to Chicago for a symposium. So because I'm headed out of town to Chicago, I am kind of rushing. So let's go ahead and talk about the components. Now I came in and I used my birch logs. Now 
I've had birch logs in the past, so what I do is each year I just recycle them. Showed you guys or took you guys along with me as I was decorating various areas of my garden. And I sh share with you guys a couple of tips and tricks. So one of the things that you guys can do, some places are charging up to $20 per birch log. Yes, it's insane. So if you're paying $20 per birch log and you have four of them right here, already that's $80. No, ma'am. No, sir. So what I would do is I would buy the longest one that I could find out of that group and I would literally chop them into three. So instead of you paying $80 per one container, you just only pay $20 for a container and then you'll have six. So then maybe the next year you can go ahead and then add a fourth birch log or go ahead and spend $60 for and then cut them to the length that you want them to be. I also came in with the birch logs. I wanted my birch logs to be more of a vertical interest here. I did not want to use any pine cones because in the front, my display was very heavy on pine cones. Every container was draped in a pine cone, big, huge pine cones. Now, you do have some pine cones that are on top of the reef. That's fine, it just gives you a little bit of added texture, but it's literally covered with the magnolia leaves and the greens. I have a fir here, and then I also have a uh, arborvita needle. And then I came in and I wanted my magnolia leaves to be heavy around the bottom here to basically sit on top of my wreath here. So this year in my garden, it is definitely gonna be the year of the magnolia and the reefs, honey. And we are going to go all out in my garden. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Don't forget to click like, because when you click like, it helps push this video in the algorithm. Don't forget to share. You guys can go and click on the clip part of the video, share your favorite part to your favorite social media sites, and invite your friends over here to the channel. So that way, you know, when you guys are talking, you're like, girl, did you see the video? Did she caught up? So go ahead and make sure you guys invite your friends and families over here to the channel so they can get in on some of our good tips and tricks. Because of inflation, a lot of nurseries are going up on the price that they are charging for uh, winter green stems. So for example, I seen one, I went into one nursery, $16.99 and the bundle that I had in my hand was literally three pieces of noble fur. No ma'am, no sir, I am not paying $5 per stem. I've showed you guys in the past how you guys can go pick out either a green Christmas tree, pick out a Christmas tree with the blue fur. I love, love, love to do that. That is a must for me every year. What you can do is you can go in, you can cut that right on down, and then you have enough greenery to probably do your front containers, a side door container, the garage door, flank the garage and everything else. And then all you have to do is just buy your little accessories. Not necessarily little, but you know, that's just how I talk. But you could just add your accessories in. Another way to save money is when you're using your floral stems. You guys can literally take anything, dry hydrangeas, stems, anything to elevate your containers. Now, my elevation and this container is definitely going to be my birch logs and it is also going to be my magnolia leaves as well. Love to know what you guys think about this area. We are, this is all I'm going to be tackling for today because I do have to get on the highway and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video let me know what you think about this container let me know if i did too much i would love to hear about it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye Santa, I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights